Welcome back to Brooke and Jake Make, where I'm not Brooke. And I'm not Jake. Today we're going to be building a side table. Out of pallet wood and resin. And what's that going to match? Our headboard and footboard that we made out of pallet wood and resin. There we go. So if you haven't seen that video yet, check the little eye up above. It'll take you right there. Otherwise, let's jump straight into the build. Yeah, let's get to the saw. All right, so we measured our area where we want to put the side table. We have about 12 by 12 is what the final measurements of the top of the table should be, mm -hmm. about 26 inches high, I think. So what we're gonna do now is Brooke's going to measure and get it all set up so that we can run it through our handy dandy. Thank you, Learn By Doing Woodworking, for this beautiful table saw and saw stop. Shall we show the people what we've done? Yes. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. So this is what we're thinking for a layout. What we're gonna do is resin in this crevice, all through here, up in this little corner, and come up, and that should link us up to this knot over here. And then we'll have a beautiful big blue knot filled here, and a random line over here. And now we are going to do some resin tests to figure out what colors we want to pour inside those cracks. I am thinking that I just want to do Glacier, which we already have a test piece of it. But because I like having fun with resin too and I don't want to be left out, I'm going to try adding Glacier and Glitter. And then Jacob's going to do a bunch of other combinations. So I think this needs to be like a custom color one-off creation sort of thing that hopefully we can recreate when we go to do the full pour. <laughs> so I have kind of two to three ideas in mind. I want to try and add all of them, Glacier, Cobalt, Onyx, and Titanium to kind of add like a pearlescent darker effect or Glacier, Cobalt, and Titanium because I want more of like a sea sort of blue yeah. with Maybe some white lines through it. We'll okay. see though. We'll see what happens. So we're gonna start mixing our resin and then we'll show you the colors as we start pouring. So this is gonna be my three colors. So glacier, cobalt, and then titanium. All right, I'm gonna start pouring this into the mold. So now I'm gonna start getting all my pigments of these into this one. And this one I will add the onyx in. I'm gonna pour this one into the big square because I think I'm gonna like it the most. So I just need some glacier. You gonna add that sparkle? Mm -hmm. Look at that sparkle. That's a lot of sparkle. <laughs> I'm extra like that. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be pooping unicorns. <laughs> I mean, pouring, pouring unicorns. All right, so we got done sanding and taping up for the pour, but now it's time to select the colors. Brooke's favorite was the- Glacier. And mine was more so the just straight cobalt, but we ended up deciding on- The darker one. Yeah, with the onyx, the titanium, the sparkles. It, just it just- everything. Yeah, it, it goes better with kind of our darker colors, our mm -hmm. copper and our gold. And we think it's going to look great once we pour it, so we're going to start mixing it now. Okay, so while the resin pour cures, we are going to cut the boards for the border to the right size, and then we will get to gluing them onto the sides. All right, so we just unclamped it, and while we were waiting and letting the glue dry, we came up with a nifty idea. Yeah. We have... Our a, sample piece. Which is a, now gonna be a handy dandy, one-of-a-kind match-the-table... Coaster. Coaster. 
So rather than have it be just a coaster that you can kind of set on top and leave it be there, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah, rather than have it just let it stay there the whole time, we're going to build a little storage spot for it within the side table. And we think the best way to do that is cut or route. I think we're going to route a little mm -hmm. hole that's the perfect size of this coaster, plus the little thumb spot so that you can just easily slide it in, slide it out, and otherwise it'll sit flush with the front face of our side table. Yeah. Alright, so we just clamped up our legs to get an idea of how we need to clamp them and how we're going to keep them straight. Everything looks pretty good, so I think it's just time for the glue up. Yeah. Yeah? Let's do it. Alright, here's the finished build. I hope you guys love it. It looks wonderful next to the finished headboard and baseboard. The copper goes very well with the blue, and we even incorporated a nice little coaster holder. Also, this project used no screws, just glue. So remember guys, to do something that makes yourself happy every single day. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Ding!